Good evening, everyone. So as we come to know that in the last class, we have been studying what is dispersion of light and as well as once this white light will disperse into seven different colors. Again, how we can form the reformation of white light? That is what we can say. Recombination of spectrum of colors, spectrum colors to give white light. So that is all we have studied in detail already. Now in our today's class, we'll study one of the most beautiful phenomena in our nature where it has been formed by the spectrum of light naturally naturally by the atmosphere that is what we should call it as rainbow so now first if you first of all if you want to study what is the rainbow first we should know what do you mean by spectrum can anybody say define spectrum kevin dilipan what do you mean by spectrum anyone yeah. What do you mean by band of seven colors formed on a white screen? Band of seven colors formed on a white screen. What? The band of seven colors. The band of seven colors formed on a white screen. Seven colors formed on a white screen. Beam of light. When a beam of white light is passed through a some kind of prism-like substance, prism-like substance, we, we cannot say it is maybe artificial prism or maybe natural prism. So some kind of uh, prism or any kind of transparent object is a band of uh, seven colors light will form when a white light is passed through it. That is called as a band of seven colors. A band of seven colors is called as what? Uh, simple definition we can say spectrum. Do you understand? So like that, if you'll observe carefully, coming to the rainbow also, this is the most beautiful. What is this? See, whenever you can see the rainbow, automatically you will feel some happiness in our, uh, in our uh, uh, inside, inner feeling. Your inside soul will become very happy. Is it yes or no, guys? Whenever you will feel yes, the rainbow, you will see very happy. Okay. Is it yes or no? We will uh, automatically okay. become very happy. That is what we can say because it is the most important and as well as the most beautiful uh, uh, example of spectrum of uh, spectrum formed by the nature. Do you understand? Right? Formed by the nature. And who is dispersing here? Which light it is dispersing? Which light? Yeah, is dispersing? Like sunlight. Dispersion of sunlight. sunlight. And it is provided by whom? Is it I am making the rain? I am I am making the rainbow or you are making the rainbow? Who is making? Nature. nature. Who is forming? Nature, nature in the form of rainbow. So the spectrum of light, the spectrum of light by the formed by the dispersion of sunlight, dispersion of sunlight is provided by the nature. So that spectrum of light is formed by the dispersion of sunlight is only we should call it as what? Formed by the nature. It is called as rainbow. rainbow. You understand? Oh. So that is what you should remember. So rainbow means it is an arc of seven colors. You may be asked me, so why it is always having in the form of arc? Have you seen it? It is always in the form of semi-arc. Is it yes or no, guys? Like this only it will be. Yes or no? Yes or no? Because the okay. reason I am saying. So as we know that our earth is in which shape? Ra? What is the shape of our earth? Spherical in shape. Here. No. Now, and the sunlight will fall only, is it complete throughout the earth or only half of the surface? Half of the surface. Half of the surface. Half half of the surface. That is why our atmosphere is also surrounding, the atmosphere which is surrounding the earth is also present in the spherical shape. So when the light will fall, only half of the earth, always. So that is why we can see always the rainbow is also in which shape? Ra? Semi circle. What is that? Semi arc. It is looks like an arc. Arc, we can say. So, arc of seven colors, seven colors visible in the sky, which is produced by the dispersion of whose radina? Dispersion of Omega? Sunlight. By who? sunlight. Who is the prism here? Who is the prism here? Anybody? Harini? Raindrops. Water drops. Raindrops. Raindrops. Raindrops in the atmosphere is called as rainbow. Do you understand? Option is Pranav is option. Pranav, are you there in meeting? Pranav, Padmavarshini, please make a call to them. So that is what we should call it as raindrop. So they will ask you the question, why the, the always it should be like an arc? Anybody? Why it is looks like an arc? Anyone? What is the reason behind why it is looks like arc? Because the light, the sunlight will fall always on the 
half of the earth so earth is in spherical shape so that is the reason so the rain the rainbow formed by it is also looks like a what or only do you understand guys yes, sir. No. that is you should so that is what we should call as rainbow so rainbow is a what natural phenomena of dispersion of sunlight to form a spectrum of, of rain drop band of seven colors what is that a band of seven colors is called as spare rainbow write it all of you definition rainbow. of rainbow the rainbow is an arc the rainbow is an arc is an arc of how many colors ra seven, seven colors understand seven colors visible in the sky where it is visible hey visible hey. in the sky hey. visible in the sky which is produced by which is produced by whom which is produced by which is produced by by the umbra by the dispersion of dispersion of whose light sunlight sun's light by rain drops by rain drops in the atmosphere in the atmosphere that is what we should call as what rain understand for whom you are messaging you send something listen class is it uh, jessy joined or not pradita so so this is what we should call as rain uh, rainbow now you can see we will see how this rainbow will looks basically so many times you people are seeing when i am in university so many days i used to see the rainbow because our university is in a hilly region our actually our university is called as rk valley valley Do you know, I, i think most of you people know what is a uh, meaning of valley between the hills if any place is there that is what we should call as valley is it as yes, guys Yes, sir. No. Yeah. So, like, also you can browse even Ajukete Arke Valley. You can browse. You can see the even the natural rainbow formation also in our uh, campus. So many days uh, we used to see that. So this is what we can say. So it is looks like a what arc only. Is it yes, guys? It is looks like arc or not? So that is why it is yeah. called. As, that is why it is called as the rainbow is always looks like an arc because. atmosphere is also spherical in shape so the sunlight will falls always on half of the atmosphere that is why it will form always on the arc shape so this is what we should call as rainbow now you can observe here this rainbow is actually what ra artificial spectrum or natural spectrum it is natural spectrum it is natural spectrum natural spectrum of sunlight in the sky for formed by whom ra sunlight in the sky that is what you have to not a doubt so the rainbow is used to called as the natural spectrum so you can observe here this rainbow is formed in the sky only the conditions i am saying you when the sun is shining and as well as and it is raining at the same time so they will ask you the conditions like in mcq or else reason assertion also what is the required conditions for formation of rainbow so if the rainbow wants to form naturally in the atmosphere do you understand so we want two required conditions what is that the rainbow is formed in the sky when the sun what sun shine and the rain is shining that is the first condition sun must be shining and as well as at a time who should be there second one second one should be and it is raining at the same time raining at the same time then only it is possible to form what a natural spectrum called as rainbow that is what you should remember this is the most important point the required conditions from this they will form a reason assertion also so be very careful and note it down note out that point so you can if you want you can keep heading also required conditions 
required conditions actually this is the most important uh, one mark question ra so many more than 10 20 times they ask this question uh, in previous board exams and all because that much important but still people will think only sun sunlight is enough to dispersion of light so they will ask you the question in mcq what is the importance of raining in formation of rainbow anybody can say what is the importance of raining in formation of rainbow please arvind pranita Correct. It contributes in the formation of water droplets. It will work like a prism. That is the reason. Then understand. It will be act like a. It will be act like a what? Prism. Prism. Understanding a small <laughs> prism. That is what the response you should see. So the right. All of you. Required conditions for. Required conditions for. All required conditions for formation of rainbow. Formation of rainbow. So, what is the first condition, everybody? Anusri, Akshaya, sunshine. 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 Sun must be shining. Sun. Sun is shining. And what is the second one, Ra? Sun is shining on rain at the same time. Raining at the same time. Now next, I want to say you the most important one. This is thousand times important than this point. What I'm going to say the next. Everybody should remember. Suppose when I'm seeing in the east direction, observe very carefully. Now, as we know the directions, all of you observe very carefully. This is what direction we should call Ra? south. What is this called as? North. North. This is called as North. west. This is. Called East. East. Now, I am seeing the rainbow at the west direction. Then, where should be the sun? East. Where should be the sun? East. 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 All of you should remember the sun is at east direction. Suppose if I am seeing at the rainbow at the south, then where is the sun? North. 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 When, how and why I am saying you? Whenever the light will falls opposite to the rain for rain formation, or else the form of the rain when it is rain falling, then only the dispersion of light we can able to see. We can detect it. Suppose if the prism, do you understand, guys? If the prism is also like this, when the light will falls, understanding. Like suppose imagine if the water droplet is like this, in the same direction the rain is falling, then we cannot see the dispersion of light. Do you understand? So when it will falls out. Opposite only, then only it is visible to us. We then only we, we it is visible to us. For example, both are coming in the same direction. Then you can see like our backside. So if something is standing in the backside, is it possible to see, guys? Is it possible to see? Somebody is standing backside. Is it possible to see? No. So if it is anything from in front of us, if it is coming, then only we can see whatever it is coming in front of us. So when the rain will fall here. If I am seeing the rainbow in front of me, means in the sense of sunlight is coming, sunlight is coming back up, back from me, and it is making the light to disperse, and that is the reason I am seeing a what? I am seeing the what? Ra? Formation of the rainbow. So the most important condition, if you want to see the rainbow, then always the sun must be what? The, you can observe very carefully the rainbow. If we stand with our back. If we'll stand with our back towards the sun and the rain in front of us, all of you should remember that. So we can see the rainbow when only we can stand with our back towards the humra. Sun or rain? Our back should be whom? Our back who, who must be ra? Who is must be our back? Rain or sun? Sun. So sun must be our backside. And we have to face our back towards the sun, then in front of us, we can able to see the rainbow. So that is why a rainbow is always formed in a direction opposite to the sun. That is what you should remember. The most important point, which is every time the people will ask, ask that is, what is the direction? Suppose I am facing towards the north. This question also maybe they will ask you. I am seeing the rainbow at the east direction. So then what is the position of the sun? They will ask you. Down they will ask you. South, west, east, and north. Then what is the correct answer? East. West, sir. west direction. If I am seeing the rainbow at the east position, then the sun is at which position? Ra? West position. Yes. 
what is your question understand because a rainbow is always formed in a which direction formed in a direction opposite to the sun that is opposite to sun sir no for happen sir what ra uh if rainbow uh, occurs op- opposite to sunlight where does this uh, rain occur sir listen first suppose for example here i am i am the person here standing observe very carefully then if the rain you can see somewhere where the particular situation even all the situations the rainbow will never form have you seen it very rare situations only the rainbow will form do you understand so where the particular situation rainbow will form means if suppose i am walking in this way now the rain will start falling you may observe for example most of the cases when i am coming from the school till that uh, namana samudram rain will fall once it will cast behind that there is no rain you may notice it have you seen it when you are coming to school you understand so by that time if the sun if the rain is falling in front of me in front of me when i am traveling if the sunlight is coming back from my side like this direction then i can see the dispersion of light and i will i will see the rainbow is forming here is it okay uh, varshini yes sir do you understand yes sir yes sir yeah so that is you should remember so please all of you write note and you write. what is what is the note ra a rainbow is always formed in where hari harini kardegayan opposite to the opposite to the a rainbow a rainbow is is always always formed always formed in a direction in a direction opposite to that of the humra opposite to that of the sun that is you should remember is it okay guys yes or no so now you can observe here that is what i can say the formation of rainbow is called this one now what is happening here so how then rain will fall is it the rainbow will fall yes because you can see the rainbow is produced by the water dispersion of sunlight by rain drops is it yes or no guys rain drops are water drops we can say water drops in the atmosphere now here who is acting like a prism each rain drop is act like a what each rain drop is act like a a small prism which is splitting the sunlight into a humra a white light is splitting into the seven colors that is what we should call as what spectrum spectrum so each and every rain drop each and every rain drop is start splitting the white light into seven different colors so this all will combine this all will combine and we can able to see a clear formation of spectrum which is very very large in size that is what we should called as rainbow now this rainbow also few times we can see very light and few times very dark in color is it yes or no guys yes or no so if yes, sir, yes, sir. holding more number of water molecules then more dispersion means each and every particle will start dispersing so that more thicker we can able to see the formation of rainbow if less number of water molecules is holded by the atmosphere then we can see the very light color of formation of rainbow that is what you have to remember so who is causing for dispersion of light here who is acting like a prism a tiny droplets rain drops or we can say water drops in the atmosphere they will act like a tiny glass prisms and they will disperse splitting the splitting or dispersing the sunlight into a spectrum is it okay guys yes or no so that is what you should remember it please write it all of you so, sir spectrum yeah. means seven bonds color no sir what ra spectrum means seven bonds color ra sir seven seven a band of seven colors like a bunch a band of seven colors together is called as spectrum understand got again that yes, the seven colors is called as spectrum that seven colors together we used to called as a band what we should call band understand that is you should remember this right oh it is not audible got again your voice problem next right a rainbow is produced by the 
और गुमराह मिथनाथ वाइट सनलाइट बाई रेन ड्रॉप्स रेन ड्रॉप्स वॉट इज अनदर नेम वाटर ड्रॉप्स वॉट इज कॉल Water, water, water drops. drops. Water drops. In where they are present? In atmosphere. In atmosphere. Now, is it Nitya? Is there Arvind? Yes, sir. Each raindrop, but no response. Prajni also. Each raindrop. Anushri, you act as a act as a tiny glass prism. Tiny. glass prism act as a tiny glass prism splitting what it is doing ra splitting splitting the sunlight splitting the sunlight into a what into a spectrum so this spectrum is only we should called as what what we should call rain rain, rain so oh. till here everything is theory only what is the causes of formation of rainbow and who is causing for formation of rainbow that's all that is what who is causing for formation of rainbow rain drops is it yes or no rain drops are water drops so under required conditions is what a sun must be shining and as well as raining at the same time understand so till here you remember or not doesn't matter maybe small things only now inside how this rainbow is forming how this dispersion is taking place the water droplets that is what the most important from this only the mcq is going to ask that is why all of you clear listen very very any place any situation you can ask me immediately now i will show you the one diagram this diagram only use colors also and shade yeah wait understand so use the diagram for your uh, for your future references for your any exams also same diagram you can draw in our personal class works and make it everything very very clear so now we know that so this person of whose sunlight form is causing for formation of rain uh, rainbow whose sunlight ra who sun light uh, yeah light the light which is coming from the sun that is which is in white color now who is causing sunlight is causing Raindrops. Raindrops. Who is making the rainbow? Who is making the rainbow? Raindrops. Raindrops. Rain. Rain. In the formation of raindrop, all of you take the screenshot of this one. Or else I will send in the group. This is the picture. Very very clearly you have to remember. So here. the refraction and reflections both will takes place that is what this picture will clearly explain each and everything you have to draw this one very clearly use sketch colors also to draw and make it everything very clear understand so now before going to enter into this when i am teaching the refraction of light i have been taught you critical angle do you remember that respond me critical angle yes or no can i teach once again respond all of you Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Now, Karthik has asked me in last one. He has been messaged in doubt, sir. When the light is entering from denser to rarer, or rarer to denser, how we can find speed increases or decreases? So, I am saying you, Karthik, listen very carefully. Suppose when you are in a national highway, no vehicles are there. How you will go? Very fast or very slow? You will go. Karthik, yeah. Very fast, sir. Very faster. Now suddenly traffic jam will come. How you will go? The same speed or less speed? Uh, uh, more speed or less speed? Less speed, sir. Less speed. The same way here. When the denser, rarer means rarer means particles are very far each other. Do you understand, Karthik? Yeah. Particles are very far each other, so that the light can go much faster. Do you understand, Karthik? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If you take denser medium, denser medium, others also observe. If you take denser medium, what happening, bro? Particles are very closely packed. Is it yes or no, guys? Yes, sir. So, yes, sir. it will take time to travel so that light speed will slow down. What will happen? 
slow down understand so now let it be before going to study this i should say something called as critical angle so when the situation will come i will say you now observe very carefully here this is the picture which will explain the formation of rainbow so all of you listen carefully and ask me if you have any doubt understand so now you can see here the raindrops this is only single raindrop i am explaining so does every raindrop will do the same phenomenon so you can observe here this spherical one which is looks like a spherical that is called as water what you should call rain understand yeah. now you can observe here sun the sun what is happening the light is coming coming and that is what we can see it is a single ray of light but this which light ra which light nitinath dena white light white white light so we know that this white light is having how many colors it is having seven colors seven colors so this raindrops in the atmosphere these only they will act like a small prisms how they will act ra small prism so like that each and every raindrop will act as a small prism and they will be forming the big rainbow in the atmosphere now you can see as white light enters white light enters into the raindrop at the surface where it is entering you should speak at what point it is entering at the light why at what point it is entering the light white light why do you understand guys respond me sir yes now you can observe here it is entering from air to water air to water so means in the sense of it is entering from denser to rarer or rarer to denser rarer to denser rarer to denser what will happen rarer to denser Light. When the light is entering from rare to denser, it will bend towards the normal or away from the normal. It will so bend towards the normal. Towards the normal. Towards the normal. The normal. So speed is also decreases. Is it yes or no, guys? Yes, sir. Now, same way in last class, what we have studied, dispersion of light through prism. Same thing. When the light, white light, is entering through the raindrop at point B, where it is entering? Yeah. at point b do you understand a white sunlight enters and leaves this raindrop and the various colored rays present in this white light are refracted by different amounts due to which we are able to see the a formation of arc of the seven colors of light that is what what we should call ra we should call it as rainbow what rainbow. is rainbow rainbow do you understand rainbow. So now you can see the formation of rainbow. How it is happening means. So I am taking a ray of light. What is the ray of light name called as here? What is the ray of light name? White light. What is the name called as name? I am asking. A B. A B. A B. Raindrop. At which point, Ra? Which point, Nitinath? B. Run out. At point B. At point B. At point B. And undergoes refraction. So as we know that if it is entering from rarer to denser or denser to rarer, what will happen? Refraction will takes place. What will happen? Refraction will takes place. Refraction. Raindrop. Sorry. Transparent medium. What is that? Transparent medium. Transparent medium. So refraction will takes place at the B point. So first phenomena at point B, which phenomena will takes place? Refraction. Understand all of you? Refraction will takes place, and we know that when the white light is entering from one medium to another medium, so all the colors of light will travel with the same speed or different speed? Same speed or different, different speed? speed? Different speed. Different speed. Different. at the point b where the refraction will takes place understand so the different colors will travel different speeds and you can see they are splitting into how many colors ra they are splitting into how many colors seven colors seven colors seven colors b to c understand the spectrum undergoes you can observe very carefully so b and undergoes the refraction and as well as dispersion is taking place here what is happening refraction and as well as dispersion is taking place what do you mean by dispersion anybody splitting into seven colors is it yes or no bending of the colors sir bending of the colors is taking place as well as dispersion also taking place what is happening also taking place also taking place so they will ask you the question taking place formation of the colors at point b what is the phenomena are taking place reflection and refraction dispersion and refraction only refraction or only dispersion what is the correct answer reflection Refraction and as well as refraction. 
Subtraction and dispersion, sir. Subtraction, sir. So both you should write at the point both B. Both are taking place, sir. Understand? Both are taking place at the point B. So after that, this spectrum, the spectrum after refraction and dispersion, the seven colors will undergo total internal reflection. What is your call? Total internal reflection. I will say you this again next this after this meeting. So let me finish this concept. So till at point C, till at point C from B to C, the spectrum will travel. So there, instead of nature, what is happening here? I am not bending. Naturally, it is happening that instead of coming at the point C outside, outside, it is happening what? Total internal taking place. What is happening? Reverse direction they are traveling inside the raindrop itself until the, the point D they are traveling. Till which point they are traveling, Ra? D. Point. So here, see, once the dispersion, they are not coming out at the point C. Inside itself, they are bending by themselves. Understand? And they are traveling till point D. Till point D. They will go. This is what? The bending inside the raindrop itself. That is what we should call it as total, total internal reflection. What we should call it? Total internal total. reflection. But you may be asking a question here. Sir, here reflection means only opaque surface will show the reflection. Is it yes or no? That is what we have been studying. Yes? Opaque surfaces only will show the reflection. But here, total internal reflection, not reflection. That I will explain you. What is total internal reflection? We will study. So, at point C, what is the phenomena taking place? Everybody, Anusri, which phenomena is taking place? So at point C, who is taking place? The total internal reflection is taking place. So the total internal reflection of light and spectrum. Light and spectrum. 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 Light. Light spectrum. single colored or combination of white light. So here spectrum is taking place. What is taking place? Spectrum is taking place. That is why they mentioned here total internal reflection of spectrum. What would you call? Spectrum at totally. point C uh, within the raindrop, where it will take place, that is also an MCQ. Total internal reflection of spectrum will take place outside the raindrop or inside the raindrop or both or none. What is the answer? Inside the raindrop. Within the raindrop. raindrop. Inside the rainbow. Within the rainbow. Where it take place? Within the rainbow. Meeting is going to end. Everybody must join again. I will teach you total internal reflection. Very, very important. Then I will explain you. Just wait. So, inside, within the raindrop, and finally, finally, refracted out at raindrop at point D. Which point it is refracting out? Refracting out at point D. Now, here. It is entering from which medium to which medium? Can you able to say? Denser to rarer? Denser, rarer, to, rarer. Denser, to, rarer medium. Denser to rarer medium. Denser to rarer. Denser to rarer. It will bend away from the normal or towards the normal? Away from the normal. Understand? Away from the normal. Speed will increase. Where will increase? Speed will increase. Understand, guys? So, at which point, they will ask you MCQ, at which point the speed of light, the speed of spectrum increases? B, C, D. Which point, Ra? D. D, because D. it is coming from which medium to which medium? Denser medium to rarer Denser medium. Denser to rarer medium. So, of light increases. So, here also refraction will take place and finally it will, the 